Tom Don for the latest in lo local sports and sports. The Wincon High School football team has this Friday night off. They begin region play a week from tonight at Warner Robins. Here's a look at some of the other games in the area. Long County looking to go 5-0. and They're in Savannah tonight taking on Beach. Liberty hosts the Islands. Jeff Davis at Brantley. Pierce is at Brooks County. Richmond Hill hosting a team out of Florida. South Effingham at Effingham. Ware County hosts Lincoln of Tallahassee, Florida. Statesboro hosts Bradwell Institute. Brunswick's at Greenbrier. Glen Academy hosts Lakeside. And Appling County hosts Swanee High School out of the state of Florida. JV football team, a nice win yesterday over Bradwell Institute. The final score, Wayne County 30, Bradwell 18. Tough day for the varsity volleyball team as they were in region action up in Perry High School. Wayne drops all three matches. Warner Robins wins 2-0. Perry wins 2-0. New Hampstead wins 2-1. Still a few weeks away from the region tournament, which will be held at New Hampstead High School on October the 1st. A couple of matches before then. Wayne County volleyball team at Ware County on September 26th. And then home on September 30th against Pierce County. Middle school volleyball. Appling defeated Wayne County yesterday by a final of 2-0. In varsity girls softball, they've got a key region game this coming Tuesday at home hosting Perry High School. WFOFM will have that game for you here on Big Dog Country at 105.5 in a key region matchup between Wayne County and Perry. Perry won the first game at Perry. Wayne County needs to win this ball game in order to host the Super Regional. Again, that's taking place Tuesday, 5.30 at the Barber Struckoff Softball Field. Middle school softball Thursday, the black team defeated Ware Middle School 14-4. The black team lost 18-17 to Bethune Middle. College football this weekend. George has the weekend off before the big trip next Saturday to take on Alabama. Georgia Southern on the road Saturday evening, and they're going to be at Ole Miss taking on the Rebels. Game time 7:30. That game right here on Big Dog Country for 105.5 FM. Georgia taking a key matchup at Louisville. That's a 3:30 kickoff on AM 1370. Some other games of interest: NC State's at Clemson, UCLA's at LSU, USC at Michigan, Tennessee at Oklahoma, California at FSU. Florida at Mississippi State. NFL football, Jacksonville on Monday night football. There will be a Buffalo. Falcons on Sunday night football this Sunday night hosting Kansas City. We'll have that game for you on Big Dog Country. FM 105.5 FM. The Jets over the Patriots last night, 24-3. Braves in Miami this weekend take on the Marlins. Tonight's game here on WIFO FM. First pitch at 7-10. Braves beat Cincinnati Thursday afternoon by a score of 15-3, but still remain two games out of that final wild card spot in the National League behind both New York and Arizona. Just eight games left on the regular schedule. Two games next week at home hosting the New York Mets. Tuesday and Wednesday next week, September 24th and 25th. Some big games for the Atlanta Braves in Atlanta. L.A. Dodger O'Shea Otani sets baseball history yesterday as he becomes the first, pay, first player in Major League history to hit 50 home runs and steal 50 bases in one season. He also set an L.A. Dodger record Thursday as he had 10 RBIs. That's a new RBI record for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And O'Shea Otani had six hits last night. Several home runs drove in 10 runs as the Dodgers clinched a National League playoff spot. And O'Shea Otani, the first player ever to hit 50 home runs and steal 50 bases in one Major League Baseball season. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.